Digital cameras are great. You can take as many photos as you like and then pick the perfect one and share it. This is all well and good, but let me ask you this. How many times have you just taken a photo only to never look back at it? I myself have definitely done this, and as a result, have thousands of photos without a place. Now let me ask you this. If you were limited to say, 36 colour photos, would you be more careful of what you took a photograph of? Well, that's exactly the case with SLR film cameras. A standard roll of 35mm film either has 24 or 36 exposures, aka photos. Once the film is loaded, the mechanism drags the film in front of the shutter, ready for use. As you press the shutter button, the mirror inside the camera flips up, and the shutter is released simultaneously. This exposes the film to the light for a fraction of a second, creating what will be your photo. And you can do this 36 times. No more, no less. Now, this is where it gets interesting. A roll of film can last me anywhere between one week to several months, and by the time I've got the film developed, I often forget what I've taken a photograph of. Take this photo for instance. This was taken on the very first second of 2015, and developed one and a half months later. After getting it developed, it brought me right back to this time as almost like a reminder of what I did. This is why film is great. It can remind you of things that would otherwise be lost in the endless stream of digital content. It also gives you a whole new perspective. As you only have 36 photos, you really take care in what you shoot, often making you think a lot more about framing, lighting, and even how important each photo is, because, as you know, there's no delete button. And as an added bonus, they're cheap. Well, once you get past the cost of film and developing, but... Oh. For example, this camera with a 50mm lens, £25. This 100-300mm to lens, £20. And the 2 times teleconverter, £199. Now I have the equivalent of a 600mm lens, which got me photos like this. That's the sun, by the way. All for under £50. Plus, they look pretty damn good. And that's just a few of the reasons why I like 35mm film. Thank you. I don't know why it's a thank you, it's a bit weird. But yeah, that was yeah, cool, cool.